Hello Gundam fans and welcome back to another episode of Mobile Suit Gundam Double O. This is going to be episode, I lost what track because I'm watching so many episodes. 17, Assault of the Throne, and 18, The Aim of Evil Intent. So, it looks like here we got introduced some more Gundam Meisters. And these Gundam Meisters are kind of elitist in a way, like they think they're better than everyone essentially. So I guess we'll see who's better. We got uh, the Master Planners, whoever they are. I don't know what their names are, what the council name is. But it looks like they're plotting against our Gundam Meisters in a way. Like, they're, like, trying to, like, bring them down in their weaknesses and stuff like that and go over what they did wrong in the previous, you know, 16 episodes, essentially. So, I guess I will see what happens when it comes to that and what happens with the interaction. Looks like they're going to be meeting up both our old Meisters and then the new Meisters. Well, I don't know which one's older, technically, because they're all secret and hiding and Virtus does not a, did not tell anyone about the second set. So... I guess I'll find out the secrets of Double O. Let's go ahead and get into this episode right now. Alright, where is this place at? Looks like it's some like old lab laboratory of some or a ship of some kind, maybe? Oh, look, it's a Haro! And who's the, the, the guy? It, space interests me because there's no oxygen to break down um, bodies, so, like, they just kind of float there. Like, they don't decompose, basically. So that's why I'm thinking they keep showing that, because you would need oxygen to kind of... I'm pausing real quick. You would need oxygen to kind of decompose, because that's part of the decompo decomposing process. So... That makes so much sense. Alright, let's continue. Haro MVP. The other Haro I don't know if I'm a fan of. Can I not be a fan of a Haro for once? Like, is this, is this one of those moments? Destin is not happy about being saved, it looks like. <laughs> I don't like the Haro for some reason. I don't know what about this Haro I don't like, but I don't like something. There's four GN drivers, so there's a fourth suit. Or is there only three? They call them the Trinity, so I think there's only going to be three, but they said four, so are they counting the actual ship? Johan Trinity! Got it, understood. Oh, she found herself someone she's obsessed with. Well, shit! Your sister did just try to make a move on her on him. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Oh yeah, this I've seen this scene before. They don't like each other. Oh yeah, Haro fight. There we go. Haro fight. I've seen that scene right there. <laughs> By the way, the Haro fight was a 10 out of 10. It was brutal. We need more Haro fights.
There's something sp suspicious then, I guess. Oh my god, he's doing what everyone else is thinking probably during the series. Because he's so feminine compared to the other guys. Oh my god. That's news like, nah, I ain't simp. Damn. Damn, this dude's a fucking asshole. Yeah, there's something wrong with them. Oh, she's down there doing shit. Yep. Yep, they do and stuff. Oh, okay, so they're gonna start holding things from Vitas. Oh, the poor little Haro. Got to see Big Bro, but Big Bro don't know who he is. These two right here don't seem like they have a lot of importance to the main story. It's confusing me. Like, uh, if they had any relevance, I, they would probably join up with the Gundam Meisters or help them or assist them. All we've really had is them getting the shit to her mom and then said to no come in once in a while. So I guess a little important, but not really. It feels like they are more of a distraction than an actual character that means anything. Oh yeah, there's there's an issue probably. They don't seem those three don't seem right. The Trinity siblings do not seem right. Oh shit! Are the Trinity siblings making a move? I think this old man's gonna find out the truth about the Gian drivers and stuff. Oh shit! You know, there's, there's, their style is closer to the um, Double O than the Exia in them. With the chest, the way the chests are shaped, they're shaped very much like the double O. I'm looking at my double O right now, yeah. Damn. I mean, you have two GN drives going overdrive, or going in overdrive right there. I guess he isn't going to find out. He kind of went boom. Damn, homie's uh, pissed off. Well, shit. He, he kind of died real quick. His expiration date hit. Oh, she gonna leave him now. Oh, 
Oh. I, I, I don't know why, but there's a feeling that he's going to get really important soon. I don't know why, but... Like, they're, they've been holding out on him. They keep showing him for a reason, and so they have to be holding something back. Alright, that's the end of that one, and I'm going to go ahead and get into this next one. And again, this next one's going to be called The Aim of Evil Intent, number eight, er, episode 18. So, let's go to get into this one right now. <clears throat> All right, so these guys are just gonna go on a demolition spree. It seems like <clears throat> All I gotta say is Exia has one of the or double O has one of the more interesting stories so far I mean, they're all interesting. Don't get me wrong. Seed is good um, I'm watching after war right now after war is very wholesome. I like after war, but Double O has some of the more intense, like, mobile, or mobile suit fights, I think. But it's still so fresh, I can't give it the 100% that's what it is pass, so. But so far, it's really intense. It has some of the more in-depth, kind of, character-driven plots. In Seed, we mostly got, like, Ida and Arthron, but they were kind of going at each other a lot. This one, we just now got introduced to these guys that we don't trust. We got an idea that Virtus, which has been the Celestial Bean's main informational source, is not giving them all the information and keeping things. I just don't know what makes this series so neat. I'm liking it a lot. I like Seed a lot, so don't get me wrong. Don't, 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 I, I just can't explain. I'm sitting here trying to figure out my words so if you see me through this to this exact ending of this uh two episodes trying to figure my words i'm just trying to figure it out because it's nice <clears throat> yeah i have this strange feeling that it's going to be our four gundam bros Versus these new Gundam Meisters. I can't say bros because there's a girl, so I'm just like... Meister, there we go. So she did something. <clears throat> Damn, leaving him with that information. Gotta gotta hit the heart, bro. Oh man, she's about to try to get close to them. Oh, he's found out some things. Damn, she's paying high dollar. But I have a feeling he's going to get taken out here. Yep, yep. Back alley. And down. <laughs> oh, there's mom. <laughs> She's going to have her little fit whenever he, she gets back, though. It's the GN particles, they're there, aren't they? Yep, 
Yeah, you know, yeah, there they are. Sorry, this is a live thing, so I am adjusting my camera. Well, too much that way. Oh, we better. Too much. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do some things on my camera earlier. So. I should have done more adjustment before I started recording, but I didn't, so. Oh, god damn! And like that, everybody's dead. Yep. God damn, Lewis. Damn. They definitely are giving villain vibes now. Like, if they weren't already, they're definitely giving villain vibes. Dang, he survived. Okay. Damn, giving this guy more feel to hate the Gundams. Are we about to get our first intervention with the actual Exia and then coming in to stop them? Because Destino's group doesn't believe in killing innocent civilians. They just kill, they believe in taking on terrorists and then government officials that have done terrible things. God damn, this guy's a beast. Well, shit. Okay. Oh, it's the G-Force. Okay. I was like, what the hell? Ooh, Saji's gonna get caught in some shit. But but why? Oh, her arm. She lost her hand. Okay. Oh. That stupid bitch! Now they're all gonna start hating the actual Gundams. Well, the Celestial Beans. Oh, poor Lewis. Poor Saji. I have a feeling. Oops. Oh, there he is. No fucks are given anymore. Ooh. He's not he he's not playing. Damn, he is not playing. 
Gosh, this episode has been like a roller coaster, man. Oh my god, this series is super dope. Like, oh, I don't know how to express myself right now. I'm I'm in one of those moods. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I'm in one of those states where I'm just like, I don't know what's going on, but oh, I do know what's going on, but I'm like freaking out in a good way. So, all right. Well, the only thing to do is continue on the adventure here, which I'll be continuing here shortly. I know this is the end of the two episodes, but I do record a couple in a row, so. I'm going to go ahead and get into those episodes. I really appreciate if you guys would, you know, kick that subscribe button, smash it, do whatever you want to do with it. Because I'm trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year. And I definitely want to do this Gunplug giveaway. But, you know what? I can't do it without you guys. I seriously cannot. So please do so if you're liking these videos. Hit those buttons. All those things. Whatever it takes. Show your support. And I appreciate you. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next.